We will start knitting our lace. We will make a chain. We will adjust the first chain and that will not count. We will pull. In total I will need 68 chains. Once I have 68 chains, we will take the thread and we will return. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and in chain number 9 we put the hook and need a hook point. We will have the first square like this. Now I make two chains, lace it. We will leave two chains and in the third one high point. We continue knitting until we have 20 squares. In total we have to have 19 squares. And with the last three chains we are gonna need high points. So that we have four in total. We go up with 3 chains, we turn and on this side we will always need 4 hack points. If there are excess chains, it doesn't matter, these chains here can be undone. Here I will continue with the squares, when we get to the last square we will make a group of 4 hack points. Here we look for the third chain and we have it this way. We make 3 chains. We turn the fabric, lace it. We are gonna need one hack point here, lace it, two hack points, and four. Here in this corner, we are gonna be like a fan. We continue to the end with the squares, and at the end, the four hack points. Before turning we have to make 3 chains. We turn and we need 3 high points. We continue with squares. One square before we will need 2 high points and 3. In total 4 as we did at the beginning. So here we turn. I make 3 chains. We turn the fabric. Lace it. I need a hike point, lace it, two hike points and one hike point. Here we will have exactly the same as in this part. I will continue with squares until we finish and we make the edge.
Once we knit the edge, we turn the fabric again and continue making the squares. Two chains, one hike point. Two chains, one hike point. We got to the part where we made the fan. We are gonna make four hike points in the center. Two chains and four hike points. Seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Lace it. And in this corner we make another fan. Four hike points, two chains, and four hike points. We turn the fabric. With a slip stitch we advance to the center of the fan. Four hike points, two chains, four hike points, eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lace it. And we make the next fan. I will continue with squares until you reach the other edge. And we need the four high points. Turn the fabric and return. Continue with the squares and work this edge. We will return with the squares, two chains and one hike point. I show you here how I work the squares to this part where the fan is. Now here I make two chains, lace it, and we make another fan. Four hack points, two chains, four hack points, and we are gonna make nine chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Lace it. And we need this fan. We turn the fabric. With a slip stitch, we go to the center of the fan.
we make three chains, which is the first hack point, and we need the fan. Now we make 10 chains, I take yarn, and we make the fan. If you see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 laps here. I'm starting here the 9th and we have finished the butterfly. I'm gonna return with the squares and I make another 2 laps only of a squares 2. I'm gonna make until 11 with squares. We are on round number 12. Here we are gonna work this part of here to start the next butterfly. Look, we have one, two, and three squares left. Here I'm gonna make one, two high points. We look for the third chain, and we make one high point. For high points, we turn the fabric, we are gonna make one, two, and three chains. This is what we did in this part of here at the time of turning I made three chains. And we have the shape of the fan. Remember, so I'm gonna make a lace it. And we make the group of four high points. Two chains one square and so on So you are gonna work the number of butterflies that you want. If you want to make them bigger, you can also add more squares. Each square is 3 chains. So you have to work for 3 chains, 1 square. If you wanna make a curtain, you add many squares so that you have the measure you want. This edge will always be respected here in the part of our butterflies. Here you have 4 butterflies, if you wanna put only one thread, you will put it like that and tie a knot. Here we have the antenna of the butterflies, if you wanna put color, you can use a nice color or you can need the antennas and this is how you can decorate all the butterflies.
Well girls, so we have a beautiful butterflies. I made antennas only with the thread later that I already have it finished because I will make it longer. I will show you in that video how to make it needed, but I really like it simple with the thread. I hope you like it, don't forget to share and like it and you can activate the bell so that you receive notification of each new video. Thank you very much, please take care and see you soon.